Let's create a collapsible submenu that will work well in a left-hand menu bar. So we will be able to click a button to then expose or expand a submenu of items. Let's jump in. Before we get started, I just wanted to quickly draw your attention to this design guide that BuildCamp has recently released called Mastering Design and Bubble. This will show you how to create beautiful page structure and great design, just like on this page that you're seeing right now. The design guide is free for all premium members or $29.99, and it's available now at this link. So down the left-hand panel, I have a floating group, and I have a previous video about how to create a custom slider menu, which is basically what we're looking at. So the action we're trying to achieve here is that when we click on projects, it will expand to then show project titles, which we can click on to then be able to work on those individual projects. So I've gone ahead and created a option set called projects. And I've just added some project titles, which we can populate within our repeating group. So I'm going to just drag this further down to create some space. Okay. I'm going to grab a group. And I'm just going to find the bottom of projects, which I think is there. Okay, it's just loosely placed at the moment. After creating the repeating group, then I'm going to adjust the element height. Now this I'm going to call submenu. It's not visible on page load, and it is going to collapse when it's not visible. Okay, I don't care about the responsive settings because this floating group menu bar is currently fixed width. I'm just going to put a border around this so I can see exactly where I'm working. Now I'm going to grab a repeating group, drag it in here. I'm just going to use my keypad to align it. If I drag too quickly, it might fall outside of the group and then getting it back in can be tricky. Okay, that's fine. So the type of content that I'm using here is a option set, which is just a static list. I'm going to get all of the projects in that option set, and I'm going to say full list. If I design this maybe with four rows of height, I could use vertical scroll, but I'm only going to design a single row, okay? Which means I can use full list and I'll just expand to show all of those options in that list. Now I'm dragging some text in. This text will be the current sales projects display, which is the title. And I'm just going to drag that across. I'm going to set a body, which is 16. So I need 24 in that guy. And then I'm going to center vertically. Okay. I'm also going to just remove the style, put a border around this, just so now I can hone in and refine the style. So I'm only using one cell, that cell this repeating group is full list, so it will expand to show all of the options. Okay, separate it to no, and I'm just going to fold this back in nice and tight. I'm going to remove the border around that, and I'm going to remove the border around this. Now I can use my keypad to bring this group back up so it sits nice and neatly. So on page load, it should maintain this look and feel, which it does. So now let's create the workflow to expand this group. So this is project, I'm going to start edit the workflow. And the action I'm going to use here is called toggle, all right? Toggle basically means if it's not visible, show it. And if it is visible, hide it in a single action. What are we toggling? Well, I named that submenu nicely, so I know what it is. And there we go. Now, to show that there are submenu items, we also need to add an icon. Just on the right-hand side, I'm using material icon by Google, and I'm going to search for arrow. There's my down arrow. Now I'm going to set a conditional that says when the submenu is visible, 
then change the icon to an up arrow. Okay, fantastic. Now I'm just going to vert vertically center align that. Looking good. One more check on this, toggle the submenu. Fantastic, let's see where we're at with this. And there we can see our collapsible submenu. And then from here, you can do many things. You can use an action to push a parameter so that we have a group that's talking to the parameter, or you can set a state. You can click one of these items and set a state. So then we know which particular project we should be referencing in this area over here. Okay, I think we'll stop here, but don't stop playing with the functionality. See what you can do in terms of using parameters and states from this particular position in the tutorial. Good luck.